don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Am I here? I don't know. I can't see myself. Oh my gosh. I'm going to throw the whole computer away. I'm just going to throw it all away. <laughs> I'm throwing it all away. <laughs> um... It just popped up for me, but I don't think my mouth is sinking. I don't know what's going on. It looks kind of, I don't know. She Mormon can hear me. Tanari can hear me. Okay. I'm just going to roll with it. I'll try to fix it later. I don't know. I, look, just listen to me. Don't look at me. Just listen to me. So, anyway, I don't know if you've, you've been online today um on uh tank has been going viral online today because of some things that he said on angela yee's lip service podcast he's got everybody calling him gay and i'm like oh not tank tank is married with a whole bunch of kids and i know that being married with a whole bunch of kids does not make you straight but you know tank has been you know said some questionable things both things in the past tank has talked about eating you know eat, eating booty and doing all kind of things like tank is a freak like tank says he's a freak in his songs he says he's a freak every single thing that tank talks about is always about sex so tank was on angela yee's podcast oh excuse my voice tank was on angela yee's podcast and he made some comments about you know what makes a man gay or straight? And so during the discussion, you could go to straight from the A right now. During the discussion, Tank said that he doesn't feel that a man who has sucked penis once or twice, maybe once, but not twice. If you did it one time, Tank says that doesn't necessarily make you gay or homosexual. Now, a whole bunch of ladies are look giving Tank the side eye because they was like, any man that I know that took a pain in the mouth, I, you know, I, I don't know if that makes him straight. But the discussion goes on and Tank is like, you know, exploration is exploration. You know, just because look, a woman eats cat or whatever, does that make, you know, her her gay? Or if if a, if a gay man eats cat, does that make him straight? So it, the, the discussion went on and it's like, I don't, I don't know, Tank. I don't know. But he is defending the notion that you know sex uh, sexuality is fluid and he claims that you know you experiment once you know one time might not count maybe two or three you might you might be over the fence i this is what tank said this is not what i think you said tank is moving the needle for his benefit tank is wild enough let's hear exactly what tank said and i'm gonna go from there hold on we're gonna listen to this we are going to listen to what tank said let me find it here it is right here two girls yeah. so let's say a guy sucked a dick one time jesus christ does that mean that <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> say twice you said twice earlier. why are you guy so confused dick twice. <laughs> <laughs> i'm waiting so for I the rest of this a guy sucked a dick twice does that make you gay no no here's the thing here's the thing okay yeah, so, i just and, sucked a dick and, twice and this is a, this, this is Twice as twice as excessive. Okay. Oh, so maybe, so like no, excessive. no, but, but let's dig into it, right? Okay. <laughs> that so he did. He sucked the dick once, right? Mm -hmm. And then he's like, I'm not sure if I liked it or not. Let you know me try it again. Let me try it mm -hmm. again. And then he says, you know what? It's not for me. Don't like the taste. You see what I'm saying? Don't so like the taste. We're not talking about chicken. We talking no, about right. dick in. Well, you know what? <laughs> dick in his jaw. Dick in his, dick in his you, jaw. How you made a bar out of chicken and dick Because she's an artist at heart. Natural. Comes natural. Um, but it doesn't mean he's gay. It means he sucked dick twice. Okay. So just for the sake of your argument, that's okay. I got to, you. Because the... What y'all think about what Tank said? Tank said, you know, if if, if he if he just sucked the pain once, that don't mean that he's gay. It just means he sucked the penis one time. What I mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That don't mean he's gay. That just means he sucked one and one time. He tried it out and he like, mm, I don't think I like. 
y'all like the taste of that. I'm going to leave that to the women. <laughs> I don't, I'm just, I'm questioning it because I don't, I, I'm not a man. I'm not a man, so I don't know. But from a woman's perspective, from a straight woman's perspective, we personally feel that it would, look, and I know. The LGBTQ, I always talk about black women. Y'all don't be in. Y'all don't ever be in. And my thing is, we ain't gotta be in. If you ain't straight, we don't want you. If you the took some penis, we, we don't want you. Now, there's some women out there that might want a bisexual man. I want a man who, you know, take a little dick every now and then. <laughs> but I can't, I can't, I can't. I cannot fathom being that woman. I cannot. I don't know about y'all. He said that means he's bisexual at a minimum. He definitely ain't heterosexual. Look, you gotta love Jones. You are a female. I want to hear from some of these men out here. I mean, look, and I'm not shaming the men. I just want to know. Like, I, I mean, exploration is exploration. You know, they females do it. Some females do it. Some females cross the bridge and come back. So is it possible for a man to cross that bridge and come back? Never to go forth again? I don't know. I personally have never wanted a cat. Ain't never tried a cat. Don't never want to see no cat besides my own but you know there are some women who you know they are right with it they do threesomes foursomes like you said sexuality is fluid they might you know wade in the lady pond <laughs> so why is it so different for men why can women wade in the lady pond and they okay they can be straight tomorrow but if a man decides that he wants you know to, to suck a ding dong <laughs> If a man decides he wants to suck a ding dong, why is it that he can't come back from it? At least one time he can't get he can't get a freebie. <laughs> A lot of the gay men I talked to said that's gay. I don't know that. I mean, is there like my thing is I always see things in black or white. Sometimes there are shades of gray. So is there a shade of gray when it comes to this situation? If Tank, you know, who is married with kids, decide that he tried it one night and he ain't gonna try it no more. And he said, look, baby, I tried it. <laughs> I didn't like it, but I did try it. Would you give him a pass? I'm just saying. You said that's curiously gay. Okay, you said nope, he gay. Tank pulling a Malik Yoba. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all cracking me up. You not sucking no D and kissing me, period. I'm just asking the hard and tough questions. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, look, speaking of the LGBTQIAX element OP, uh, they're in the news this week for bullying, <laughs> bullying a maxi pad company. <laughs> look, we can't even have maxi pads on our own, child. Anytime, remember, I was talking about my fibroids. I had did a, a, a live that said for women only. They said I was discriminating against the, the women who didn't have wombs or whatever the case may be. I was like, I'm talking about my I don't understand, but I digress. Uh, apparently, always says they are removing the female symbol from its packaging to be more inclusive. Now, we can't even have a period to ourselves. We can't even wear maxi pads to ourselves. We had a whole conversation about this this summer when a whole big old uh, a man in a wig went in a woman's bathroom and and uh, bathroom excuse me I'm, I'm country today went in a woman's bathroom and um <laughs> saw a maxi pad and got scared and ran out and went to social media and started dragging a lady for having a clean maxi pad in the ba bathroom now you telling me now that the, <laughs> the lgbtq is now bullying maxi pads and tampons companies telling them they cannot put the female symbol on the day maxi pads and they said they even issued a um 
a statement after the LGBTQ activists uh, went to them and said they needed to be more inclusive. They said, for 35 years, always has championed girls and women. We will continue to do so. We're also committed to diversity and inclusion and are on a continual journey to understand the needs of all of our customers. <laughs> what the hell is going on in the world? What the hell? Look, mouth open story, jump out. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that some some women who have transitioned to men who you know still have a period it ain't like you can get rid of it unless you get a hysterectomy i guess they don't want to be tied to the female symbol and i'm like y'all are nitpicking us to damn death we can't have no maxi pads now i'm i'm just outdone so this is going also going viral on social media today they said that they are going to change the packaging. Um, and, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just outdone. The packaging change will happen starting in 2020. We routinely assess, assess our products, packaging, and designs, Procter & Gamble said. We take into account a broad array of factors, including feedback from consumers, to ensure we are meeting the needs of everyone who uses our products. The change to our pad wrapper design... <laughs> is consistent with that practice and will be adapted by multiple markets at various dates. LGBTQ activists and allies have been publicly at asking Procter & Gamble to redesign the packaging to be more gender neutral. <laughs> we can't even have, we can't even have, no dang, Maxi Pack, out of, look, out of trans me, out of, out of, out of, Wait a minute. Are the men who transition to women who still had a penis, are they going to go to the damn condom wrappers and make them take the damn man, little Trojan man off and put a little man on there with a wig? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? I'm just like, this is just the, a big ball of confusion. And before anybody be calling me transphobic or whatever, you cannot deny. You cannot deny that this is nothing but confusion. If you got a dick and you use condoms, it's a it's a damn Trojan on it. It's not a man with a wig. If you if you a damn if you bleed every month, you got a damn uh, a, a damn uh, feminist symbol on the damn maxi pads and tampons. What the hell is wrong? with that how is that offensive how is that offensive <laughs> i'm just done i'm just done <laughs> so you know i'm just here asking the tough questions it's just some things that i want to know just some things i want to know um i would <laughs> that was really the only two things i can because i was gonna come through really quickly and talk about some of the things that are on the site you can tell i'm losing my voice today uh, let me see what else is on the site. Kevin Hart was spotted out for the first time since the car accident. Kevin was chilling with Jay-Z and Irv Gotti. It was boys night out, poker night. TMZ got a whole video. If you Googled it on YouTube, you'll find it because I'm not going to play it. They ain't going to strike me. But um, remember, a lot of people were saying Kevin Hart might be dead. They might have hid his body. We ain't seen him in so long. We seen a Nico. Where is Kevin? Kevin is chilling. Kevin is living his life. Apparently, they said he had had extensive extensive surgery um and uh rehabilitation after he hurt his back in that car accident but you know he seemed to be walking just fine and playing poker and you know smoking cigars with the boys in beverly hills and everybody like talking about it like what the hell kevin you don't look you don't look injured it, like i don't understand you were supposed to be like on crutches we don't know but again i digress what else going on on the site let me see what y'all talk about in this chat. Uh, hey, Cynthia Buchanan, I'm glad you caught me. I'm glad you caught me. Uh, the Dollar Tree tampons don't got no symbol. It just say tampon. <laughs> Mr. Debonair, how you know? <laughs> Mr. Debonair, is that where you go? <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, to be honest, he got a height lift. That's what he got. Y'all are funny. Um, but yeah, Tank is on one. Tank is on one. The LGBTQ is on one. Everybody's on one. We trying to figure out what to do next. 
uh tank in this lip service thing i don't know i would love to hear from you guys look i can put the phone number up now hold on let me see if i can put the phone number in here is this it yep that's it the phone number is 718-362-6360 pin number 9427819 i want to hear what y'all have to say is is it possible for a man to just have one experience and just not be gay i mean he just was experimenting um i'm just i'm just asking the questions uh and what do you think about the lgbtq you know pulling this stunt with always uh maxi pass and making them take off the female symbol as if they're not for females i think we should boycott always let's start using somebody else who we who else they got i don't know but i'm just saying if it's not for women who is it for who, who bleeds every month i don't know the answers uh you said nah clapping man <laughs> Why did I come on this late? I don't know. Perhaps to, you know, kiki with y'all. That is exactly why I'm here at 1134. Because I know y'all are with the shits. And I am with the shits too. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Hold on about the call in to the call in line. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Poor thing, maybe if she had a man, she wouldn't be so invested in hating on the gays. Is that what it is? Is that what it is, Maurice? I'm hating on the gays because I don't have no man. Why why would hating on the why would me having a man stop me from I'm confused. Because we don't want the same men, do we? I don't think so. What is what is what is the deal? <laughs> oh, you cannot hurt my feelings. Hold on, let me Put this on the damn thing. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. But thank you for watching. I'm so glad you're here. I am so glad that you are here watching me. Knowing how much I hate the gays. I'm just pleased that you are here to convert me in my feelings and my thoughts. All right. Conference. Can y'all hear me? I think somebody on the line. Hold on, you guys. Uh, audio JBL there it is alright we got two calls holding 3343 hello hello Michelle how you doing tonight hi Andrea how are you I'm good you feeling better girl no I'm not <laughs> but I'll be alright but, but I'm glad to see you all now, Tank, now, uh, if he likes that, that's fine. But as a straight woman, uh, I don't want my man doing that, okay? I'm just saying, and he could, I don't know which one is he. He want to be bisexual, sexual fluent. That's fine. That's what he wants to do. But, you know, it's awfully funny how he is coming out like this. I just don't understand why you got to tell everybody your business. Mm. What is this? I don't know. It's too much sharing. Do you think he's coming out? No, I, mean, I mean, I mean, Tank has said things like this a lot. Like, remember, he was on, um, I, I have, he was on stage like last year, and he had made some comment about, um, uh, eating. He, he liked to suck dick or something. I don't know, child. I was just like, I don't know. I, then I he said always, he didn't say I have it. Always gave him a. <laughs> I have always gave him the side eye. You know, you know, say. Hmm. You know what you you know you know how what you say about the men. You like hmm. Uh -huh. You're a little different than a regular than a regular man. I'm just saying you're a little different. And it seems like he like it both. He like he bisexual. Put it that way. He don't want to. He don't want to admit to his bodiness that he is. He is bisexual. Put it that way. Okay. Let's just keep it one hundred. Okay. Cool. That's just me. I don't want a man like that because if you. I, I don't want a, I don't want a man who's bisexual. I want a straight man. I mean, that's my preference. Okay. Yeah. So and, so why is it that I mean, you know, let me play devil's advocate for a second. Why is it that women can uh, can you know experiment? Um, and you know, men even encourage women to experiment. They like to watch women experiment, and they could come back and be with men, and they're not called gay or considered gay. It's like they 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 can come back and it's okay. But men, once they cross that threshold 
of, you know, exploring with another man, you know, women often, you know, look at them differently and say, you know, you must be gay or, you know, it's always going to be in the back of the mind, even if they say they're not. Why is that? Okay, well, I, I'll, answer this, I'll answer that question only for me, okay? Just okay. for me, Andrea Litt. Um, I don't want men like that because, uh, and I don't be, I don't be sparing men with, with women. Okay, that's not who I am, mm-hmm. and so I don't want my man to be sparing with a man. Period. Okay, that's just nasty to me. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, yep. now back to the women's tampons and said, you know what? This is ridiculous. We can't have something that belongs to only women. Are you kidding me? We got to share everything. Well, well, Andrea, again, devil's advocate, trans men, i.e. women who have transitioned to men, you know, some of them also have their cycles. So should they be forced to identify as a woman when they go in to buy their maxi pads? Oh, no, that just sounds so that's, ridiculous that's, to me. Women, I can't stop laughing. That's a women. That's a woman. A woman problem. That's a woman problem. I was always told that I'm a straight woman. That's a woman problem, and I'm sorry. Well, I mean, your period don't that's identify you as straight or gay. Your period is just your period. So why? I don't know. Like, I'm I, to me. I'm. I'm sorry if that hurts the the transgender community feelings because they have to go buy their max pad and it got wings on it and it got things on it. So what? Who cares? So go on in there and get you some. That's what you need, don't you? I'm just asking the question. Because that's, that's what I'm going there and get me some. That's what I need. It's not a big deal to me. But I'm just, I'm just tired of everything got to be changed to fix somebody else's narrative. Everything got to be changed to fix somebody else to make them, make them feel comfortable. Well, what, we, when did we start feeling comfortable when our time was coming on and we got to go in the store and get it? And sometimes our man don't want to go in the store and get us some. Okay. Yeah. So you know that's what I've always no, I, said. Like I, I don't, I, you know, why should I, why should I, you know, um deny my thoughts and feelings you know just the sake of of appeasing you and so if that makes me transphobic or homophobic then i guess that's what i am because i'm a black woman first i can't i can't you know lift you up while pushing myself down that's that's impossible and you know what i find now it's almost like the women, women who was trying to fight for their rights, rights. It's almost like the, the, the I'm not trying to talk about the trans community, but that's it's, it's, it's almost in a sense they want us to back down, push back, so they can, so they can step up in the front of the, of the line. And I don't think this is fair. It's not. It's not. I just think every everyone deserves respect. I deserve respect as a woman. You deserve respect as a trans person. And, you know, I don't care what you do in your bedroom. You shouldn't, you know, it, it, it put an embargo on, on the things that, you know, I, I do every day. It's, it's interesting. And, and then this the thing is, what, 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 what if I'm, I, my daughter don't know what a, a tampon mesh pet is? The only reason she knows what it is because she knows it's on the it's on the package. Now you want us to go in there and say, "Honey, you need to go get that." And she's like, well, "What it is now?" Cause she don't know what it is because they don't change the thing. True. I'm just saying. True. True. Well, thank you, Andrea, for your input. <laughs> I see somebody is. somebody asked a question and said, "How?" are trans women bleeding once a month denise we would well i'm assuming that it's trans men who were born women who probably still have their cycle and they don't want to be identified as women when they go and buy their their necessities but you still got period every month i'm just asking the question that's not that's you still a woman because that's what a woman do i'm just saying Again, do do they take the little Trojan man, put a little wig on the Trojan man for the for the for the um for the condoms for for the ones who walk around with wigs on who still have a penis? Like, isn't that isn't that calling them a man? They gotta go buy condoms. I'm just saying, I don't I don't know. I'm asking the, the tough questions. They have, they want us to talk about max pads. I want to talk about the condoms too. Let's talk about everything. Let's talk about what affects the men and the women. Are y'all going to put a little picture of a, a, a woman with some, you know, a, a wig on riding a horse on the Trojan package for the condoms or not? 
Yeah, I just, I just, I, I think it's, I just, this, this is all just, just ridiculous to me. I agree. The, the world have changed. It has changed more than it have changed because we already knew <coughs> what, what our place was. We already knew what things we needed, and now all of a sudden, people, a couple people ain't happy with. It. They want, they want to change the thing. We've been, we've been having max pads and tampon almost six or seven years. Probably. They want to change something. Well, Andrea. I look. I don't know what to say. Only thing we can do is just c- continue to to speak about it because it's really a small percentage. It's not that big of a percentage, and it's a, a big, huge agenda for to normalize something that's not normal. In my humble opinion. Yes, that is too, to Michelle. Well, okay. Well, thank you for taking my call. Thank you, Andrea. I appreciate it. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Again, I'm not denying anybody the right to live their life the way they want to live their life. But why are you trying to prevent people who live their lives regularly from living their lives? Like what? Why would you do? Well, anyway, I digress. 9790. Hello. Let me take this max pad off. the. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. I just have a few points to make, just my opinion on a few things. Okay. Tank, I'm sorry. I know he's, a lot of people think he's freaky, but to me, I just think it's gay. It just, that's the way my opinion, I just think it's gay. Okay. Um, Kenya Moore is lying about Nene spinning on her. I don't believe Nene would go that low. Well, we didn't even talk about that. That's, that's about not something high. that, that's not something I've even reported. That's not even in this, in this blog talk. If if a blog is reporting that, it went straight from the A. So, you know, I'm not here to confirm okay. I did not another blog story. That's why I figured. I, I figured there was some BS. And then, um, um, the, the past stuff, is some bull. I'm not buying always anymore. I'm going to go toe text and stay free. I'm sorry, but I can't support that. I think that they're trying to take away everything from women. And it's a, like you said, it's an agenda. Yeah. It's just... Cause it's a, it's a gender, I, don't I don't understand like what the, what the point is. It's like they keep trying to make a point. We got to use the women's bathroom. We got to do this. We got to do. Okay, but I mean, I I don't know. I'm just I'm just here. I'm just living my life. So when I initially saw the article a couple of days ago, I instantly thought about you. I said, "Oh my God!" I said, "I know Michelle's gonna talk about this," and I've been I'm so glad I caught your your live video tonight because I'm getting ready to go to bed. So I'm so glad. <laughs> I was trying to go live earlier, but again, my my can't get my dang stuff right. So here I am, and you know, if the sound not right, I'll try to fix it later. I got one more thing, and this is so petty. Okay. But Maurice Davis in your chat, you need to shut the hell up. That's all I want to say. Okay. And on that note, you have a good night. Have a blessed week. Okay. All right. Thank you. You too. Oh, Maurice, stay coming for you. Thank you. Uh, you said they also want to end the, the term pregnant woman, according to them, because trans men can get pregnant. It should be pregnant people. <laughs> it's all ludicrous. I just can't do anything but laugh about it. 9160, hello. Hi, Michelle. Hi, who am I speaking with? It's Sarah. I haven't called in so long. What's I just up, want to say hi. Sarah? How you doing? <laughs> Yeah, just watching. I just want to call and say hi. All and right. Love the show. You yeah, have a blessed you. night. Thank you. Thank you for calling. <laughs> I appreciate you. You're welcome. All right. Y'all, yes. y'all so uh, nice. Where all the where all the uh troll calls at? Ninety seven sixteen. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, Michelle. What's going on? What's going on with you? With you? Hey. Calling you from Chicago, darling. Yeah, Chi-Town in the building. What's up? Nothing much, honey. I haven't talked to you in a while, but I saw you and I caught your live, and I'm so glad. Um, listen, let me make. I'm gonna make it quick. Now you know there's always been this rumor about Tank. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, there's always been the thing about him being uh, with men. So. Uh, if a man is with another man one time, two times, half of a night, whatever, that would make you bisexual. It would make a woman bisexual if she was with a woman, um, you know, one time or whatever. 
And I think that men, they they just fantasize about two women being together. You know, I guess it's a, a, a sexual turn on or whatever. But you are what that is, what you are. You bisexual. So take and spin it how he wants to spin it, the same way these transgenders want to spin it, because that shit is crazy. If you a transgender and you a woman that you're now a man, but you didn't have the money to go ahead and get everything removed, that would still make you a woman. Now, you can feel how you want to feel. You know what I'm saying? I feel rich, but I'm not. Okay? I always say that. I'm a billionaire. Yeah. My bank better respect me and respect my wishes, and they better honor everything that okay. I charge that I can't afford. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, um, I don't know. I think it's just okay. They want to be accepted. Okay, I accept anybody for what they are, what you want to do, love who you want to love, and be whatever you feel like being. Uh-huh. But don't impose that on me. Okay, you are a transgender woman. Because there's a word in front of that. I'm a woman. And there's no trans in front of it. And so uh, I've even heard that the transgender men who are now women, they don't want us to refer to our vagina as a vagina. They want us to refer to it as a whole. Well, I'm more than just a whole because I produce life. There's a lot going on up in there, you know. There's <laughs> a lot going on in I, that I, hole, right? There's <laughs> like, a the whole hell? lot going on in that hole, honey. What the and, hell? And this whole tampon thing is crazy. <sighs> you, you a woman, but you're now a man on the outside, but you're still having a monthly cycle. That means that you, you, you a woman. So, you know, why, why change all that? It's just, it's too much. The agenda, it's like they want to group, they want to group you as one. And it's just not, it's not, and it never will be. Right. You know, but we still all live, we can all live and coexist together. But, you know, stay in your lane. That's all I, that's how I feel about it. And it's, it's really getting on my nerves. It's getting on my nerves too, you child. Know. And then as soon as I say something, they be like, ah, you can't talk about that. You can't, why can't I talk about it? If it's something that, that interests me and affects me and offends me, why can't I say I'm offended? And that's the problem with the LGBTQIAX. L M N O P community is that they are first to say they are offended, but don't want to listen to other people when they say they are offensive. I don't understand that. I don't either. It's it's like, you know, don't say anything that's going to offend us. Well, why not? It's, but they say it, things it, that it, offend it, us it, all the time. They treat us offensively uh, all the time. And so that's my thing. If they want us to listen, if they want respect, why not give respect? And so, like, even Maurice Davis talk about I'm bitter and homophobic. It's not that homophobic about that. At the end of the day, like, if, if I see something that's not fair for whatever reason, if it's white people versus black people and Mexicans versus Asians, uh, men versus women, it doesn't matter. I'm going to speak on it. Exactly, and you should, because we have the freedom to do that. Mm-hmm. And 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 I'm gonna speak on it because if it's offensive to me, it's offensive. Right. And I'm not gonna hold my tongue because they don't hold theirs. Exactly. And you know, and it's not that I'm hating on them because you know you do what you do, but you know sometimes they they just kind of take it too far. They take it too far. And it's well, too some dense. you know, and I don't want I don't like to generalize, and not all. You know, yeah. uh, no, people all. in that community are that way. But there are a lot of activists that, you know, they do too much, you know. And, you know, if you, if you ever watch Flame Monroe, Flame Monroe says the same thing. This is a comedian out of Chicago that was on uh, Tiffany Haddish's Up Next uh, comedy show. And he identifies as a male, but he was transgender, but he has kids. And he says the exact same thing. Y'all fighting for minutia. Y'all fighting for things that don't matter. It's bigger things to fight about. So, you know, fighting about pronouns, fighting about this and fighting about that. Like, it's just, to me, it's just ridiculous. It is. It's too much. It is too much. Mm -hmm. So, And they even have the... uh, the story time in the schools and elementary schools now with the the transgenders reading the transgender books about queens and all of that shit. It's like 
So hold up now. I mean, you know, my son is an adult, so it doesn't affect me, but I can imagine my son at four or five years old and me trying to explain that shit to him. Right. You know, I And that's the point, like at four or five years old, you know, we're not even discussing the birds and the bees. Why we gotta explain to them what a transgender is or explain to them what sex, you know, gay sex is. Why do we have to explain that to, to a child that's not even sexualized yet? That's just my opinion. Exactly. It's too, it, yeah, and that's where the whole agenda thing comes in. It's mm-hmm. too much. So, mm-hmm. I yeah. Agree. But that was all I wanted to say. Yeah, and I'm glad that I caught you tonight. I'm glad you caught so. me too. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank okay, you. honey. I'll okay. talk to you later. All right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Look, shout out to, <coughs> shout out to all the squad in the chat. I'm about to pass out over here. I might need to uh, get off early. Get off early. Let me see what else y'all talk about. <clears throat> At this point, some trannies are being... What? Because it's fashionable and gives them fodder for their Instagram. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Okay, Michelle, I apologize. Maurice, why don't you just call in? I'm not scared to have a... Uh, intellectual debate if you feel differently about the way I feel let me know you might teach me something differently if 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 I hear something that may change my opinion I'm I'm definitely open to it definitely so that's my right as a woman to change my mind honey <laughs> so anyway uh I have the phone number still up for a little while meanwhile shout out to just lovely for um Letting me know about the outcast mural. That could be my background. Look at my oh, look at my bull. Look at my baby daddy's big boy and Andre 3000. <coughs> there is a mural, <coughs> excuse me, um, in Atlanta, in the little five points area of Atlanta, uh, near Wish Boutique of the legendary outcast duo. And everybody is going there to get their selfies, to get their, you know, they they photo ops. I haven't had a chance to go yet. Just lovely. If you visit her channel, she has a whole video of her exploration down to the little five point so she can go take her pictures. Um, and I just wanted to shout her out. There's also a post on Straight From The A that gives you some more details about the artist and the project itself. There are several... Um, Hip hop related um, imagery around Atlanta, and it's part of a, pro- a project to beautify Atlanta. And I just want to say shout out to Big Boy and Dre for the 30 foot mural. Hold on, let me see if I can show you the real. Here it is. This is what it looks like with the parking spaces and everything. You can see that. The 30 foot mural. Oops, hold on. I put it in front of me. There it is. It is huge. It is huge. It is beautiful. Oh, we have another call on the line. Hold on. Caller 6629. Hello. Hey, Michelle. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Who am I speaking with? Uh, my name is James. Hey, James. What would you like to speak on today? Well, I kind of agree with what you're saying. I mean, I totally agree with what you're saying. But then also, I was um, people were talking about it on Facebook, and I just read this comment about uh, this lady. She was saying that that it wasn't meant for men who are trying to become women or whatever she was trying to say, she was saying she think it's for, like, you know, the women who are going... It's for the trans men. The men, the, the, men. the Yeah, yeah the women who are transitioning, the men who yeah. still have cycles. And I, and I can understand that, but, but the thing is, you're saying, I don't want to be... You know, they don't want to be offended by pronouns and this, that, and the third because of what they're purchasing. But what they're purchasing is a feminine hygiene pro- pro- product. So how can you, what you going to do, take the feminine out of it <laughs> in order right. to be, you um, know, less offensive? That's, I, it's just crazy to me still. I just think it's like too many, I don't know, too many feelings in it. I mean, I don't use it, so, you know, but I'm just hearing it, it just sounds 
just just weird. It's it's a, it's a feminine product, so I just I wouldn't understand why. You know why that wouldn't be on the package right and that's that's why i you know i decided to play devil's advocate and bring up condoms there's still some transgender who consider themselves transgender women some of them i call cross dressers like you know t.s man hands who still have a penis they purchase oh you hung up (laughs) they purchase um you can call back if you like but they purchase condoms and if they purchase condoms uh, are, is it offensive that the condoms have a man on it or a man on the box? I'm I'm still confused about that. So if you're going to have, you know, to make always uh, cater to your needs by saying, you know, this is not a feminine product, then maybe you should do the same thing and see how men react to you saying that these condoms should be gender neutral. <laughs> I don't understand. I just, I just, I, I'm just trying to point out the hypocrisy. Um, you said now, you know, ain't nothing changed. Okay. Hey, RLM three, Mr. Debonair, whatever y'all doing in the chat, y'all need to keep it cute. Keep it cute in the chat. Well, anyway, you guys, I am not feeling well today, so I'm going to cut this one short. This one a little short. Um, a lot of these stories are over on straight from the a.com. I'm going to try to fix this audio if I can. I don't know if I can or not. But um, you said no matter what you put a condom on a condom, Future still won't use. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't even mention Future. You know, his eighth baby mama is going to court to sue him for paternity. That's also on the um, site. His seventh baby mama, which is, wait a minute. It was his sixth baby mama, Eliza Rain, outed his seventh baby mama which is the mother of his eighth child. Because, you know, he has two by Brittany, one by George Chavis, one by Sierra. I don't know. I I can't keep track. But it's on on the site. Remember, Wendy Williams did a flow chart that time, and he got mad at her. So don't be getting mad at me, Future, for counting your baby mamas. I'm sorry. It was just a news story. Most of them keep their blank because the surgery is expensive. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, it's expensive being a woman. It is expensive being a woman. You got to pay to play. Shoot, we have to we have to do all kind of things that don't involve makeup and everything else. But again, I digress. So, you guys, I appreciate you tuning in. I know I wasn't in my best today. I'm really feeling like I'm about to choke. My throat is killing me. <sighs> I'm a little bit better than I was yesterday, and hopefully I'll be better tomorrow as well. You said, um, <laughs> Queen said, anyone that sucks a D is not. <laughs> Look, I might suck a D. I'm not gay. <laughs> so don't say anyone that sucks a D. <laughs> oh, y'all be tickling me. Y'all be tickling me. They can have my cramps too, Monica G. They can have my cramps. They can have my. You, they can have all of it, child. They can have my tampons. They can <laughs> Ooh, we can get graphic and run all the men out the room, honey. All the men out the room. And they won't never want to see a wig again, child. Thank you so much, Robert. I appreciate you. Uh, you said you think Tank is trolling. I don't know. Tank has said some, some other things like that in the past. At this point, I you know, I just believe Tank is being Tank. He might be, though. Who knows? But anyway, if you like to visit to see the entire video, it is over on the site, Angela Yee and her lip service podcast, and what Tank had to say about e- exploring his sexuality. Um, also, the story about Future is over on the site. Tyler Perry spent $16 million on his gala. I think we, we mentioned that briefly, but that's also on the site, and I broke down what he spent that money on. I appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in tonight i'm a little bit under the weather you might can hear it in my voice i didn't think my voice was gonna sound this bad tonight but it does it does nothing i could do about it (laughs) oh you said he said he's like his butt eating and that was the most attention he got in (laughs) that's true robert that is true angela you know she better know better she know gucci ain't lying oh she's oh don't be doing that oh child 
Oh, child, you sitting at your sewing machine just lovely. No. Well, anyway, you guys, shout out to everyone in the chat. Thank you, guys. Thank you to the squad for moderating. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like this video if you haven't already. Or thumbs down, child. Thumbs down if you don't like it. I'm good with that. Don't forget to subscribe and visit straight from the A dot com.